Hello everyone, in this video tutorial, uh, I am going to use MATLAB and Simulink to determine the stability of a control system for uh, different values of the uh, KC for a proportional controller. So first uh, we shall construct the root uh, locus uh, diagram in the uh, MATLAB and uh, then uh, based on the root locus diagram, uh, we shall determine under which values uh, under which values of KC system is stable, marginally stable or unstable, then we shall verify those values in the uh, sim in the uh, simulating model. So this is a uh, uh, feedback process control system uh, or temperature control inside a tank. So we have a sensor here. This senses the temperature and it signal uh, sends signal to the controller. The controller will compare the uh, temperature to the set point let's suppose this our uh, temperature is 80 degrees C uh, the set point is 80 degrees C so this will compare the the controller compares the temperature the measure temperature to the set point and if there is uh, some error uh, then it takes action and they, based on that action uh, it uh, sends the signal to the final control element the final control element may be the electrical power or it may be the steam flow rate so it will increase or decrease accordingly and uh, uh, then it will uh, reach, uh, it will uh, adjust the temperature here. So, for example, let's suppose uh, initially the set point was 80 degrees C, and uh, the temperature inside the tank was also 80 degrees C. If we change the set point from 80 degrees C to 90 degrees C, so an error of 10 degrees C will be generated. So, the controller will, say, uh, will send the signal to this final control element. It could be electrical power, as I told, or it could be the steam. So it will increase the electrical power or the steam flow rate. And after some time, uh, this will this temperature will start rising. And when it reach uh, the you know, set point, the 90 degrees C, then it will stop there. So uh, we are going to uh, to sim simulate this process in MATLAB and uh, Simulink and uh, check that under which values of this proportional gain, KC, the system is stable marginally stable or unstable so this is the block diagram of this uh, system so this is the controller send signal to the final control element then it is fed into the process from the process the measuring instrument this is the comparator and uh, so on so the transfer function of uh, uh, final control element the process the measuring instrument and the controller given we are using the proportional controller so this is the open loop transfer function uh, G of S is equal to 1 over S plus 1, 2 by S plus 2 into 3 by S plus 3. Of course, this is just the uh, this is just the uh, uh, product of all these. So, oh, sorry, I forgot to write uh, K here. So I have just corrected it. So this is the open loop transfer function. The product of all the uh, transfer function so this is uh, our uh, oral transfer function the yeah, is equal to 6 kc q plus 6 square plus 11 is plus uh, uh, 6 so now i am going to open matlab and uh, um, first we shall draw the root locus uh, diagram so let me write the, the transfer function here so denominator of the transfer function we just saw is 6 Actually, I am uh, plotting this for Kc is equal to 1. So when Kc is equal to 1, the denominator, sorry, this is the denominator. This is denominator is equal to 6. And the denominator is a den is equal to, uh, this is given by this, uh, 1, 6, 11, and 6. So just write it here. 1, 6, 11, and a 6. A semicolon. And now write the transfer function. Let me call the transfer function is G. So G is equal to uh, TF and the num comma then uh, click enter. So this is the transfer function for KC is equal to 1. So now I want to see the root locus diagram for this. So just type R locus of this G and click enter so it's busy it will take some time and then it will display the uh, root locus diagram so this is the root locus diagram and from this root locus diagram you can observe that uh, let's suppose when the value of the 
if I just click here, that means that when uh, if I click, uh, if I uh, hover over here, so you can see that when the value of case again is equal to 2.54, so the system is stable because the roots lies in the RHP. Uh, when the KC value is uh, like this 0 0.24, still the system is stable. Here you can see that uh, on this point, uh, maybe and it around case is equal to 10, the system is marginally stable because the roots will lie on this imaginary axis. However, here you can see that the real part of the root is a uh, positive, so the roots lie in the RHP and that means that uh, the system is uh, uh, unstable. That means that if I use a gain value of 16 or even a value of uh, 11, the system is unstable. So below the, uh, when the K KC value is below 10, the system is stable. If when this is 10, the system is on the verge of instability and when it is greater than 10, the system is uh, unstable. So let us check this in the, uh, let us verify this in the Simulink. Open Simulink, just write Simulink here. And uh, click on blank model. So, construct uh, that uh, diagram which you have, block diagram which I uh, just displayed. So, click on the library browser and uh, go to the click on simulink okay click on this uh, sources so there is step change in the input in the set point so just uh, find out step here this is here step copy step here and uh, now um, go to the uh, math operation and uh, you will find gain here proportional gain and uh, we may also need the summing junction so we, you will find it here summing junction so as we know that uh, it is going into this summing junction it is going to gain double click on this summing junction and the one is negative and one is positive and uh, then uh, go to the continuous and transfer function so it is here this transfer function okay so one transfer function for the measuring instrument and another for the um, this is uh, measuring instruments uh, sorry this is for transfer function for the final control elements or you can call this ipse and this is the uh, process process okay uh, and uh, then this is going into the Merging instrument. So just uh, going here, just control R. So if you want to pip this, uh, press control R. Let me call this is our merging instrument MI. It is going here. Okay. And uh, we will also want to plot this. So for that, to go to the sinks, just click on sinks here in this uh, library. Sinks and uh, click on the uh, scope okay and click, uh, okay right click here and uh, provide one signal to the scope so this final control element uh, we have one over s plus one here we have two over s plus one so nominator is two and uh, this is uh, s plus two right and uh, this one was three over s plus three three over s plus three so write 3 in the denominator and 1 uh, space 3 in the denominator so this is uh, the block diagram ok and uh, in, uh, the change is 10 degree C uh, uh, so initial value was 0 and uh, let's suppose let's set step time is 1 so this is what this uh, we have uh, we have introduced a change of uh, 10 degree C in our set point and uh, let's the k value is gain as you saw that uh, the system is stable when the k value is less than 10 so let me just put it 5 
and let this stop time increase this to 20 degree C that was 20 minutes 20 unit time now click on the run button and uh, if you double click on this scope you can see that the system is stable because it has achieved a steady state value although our uh, required uh, change was 10 degree C like here you can see it is 10 degree C and but it has achieved almost around 8.2 because here you know that there is a steady state error in the proportional controller. Uh, let me just write this uh, as 10 and uh, run the simulation and here you can see that system is marginally stable. Huh? So this, this shows that the system is uh, marginally stable. And uh, if you change the k value to let's suppose to just change this to 12 or 13 and uh, apply, click OK, run the simulation and scope, you can see that the system is moving toward the uh, instability. This is what these are the result that uh, we have taken from the uh, root locus. So the system was stable below 10, it was marginally stable. At 10 degrees C, uh, at uh, 12, 10, uh, when the value of AC was 10, and it is unstable okay, for a value of uh, greater than uh, 10. Uh, so, thank you very much for watching this video.